there you go i guess the final part you could say i've actually cleaned up look even the broom cleaned up swept all the mess oh these are nice aren't they little sister matey uh, a really good friend of mine sorted them anyway always the worst part of system 80 is as you know i had this machine in bits i put the power supply back in i put the boards back in in for a penny in for a pound we have just switched it on there you go it always comes on there because there's no batch on it which i need to sort at some point but there you go so it's back on uh in and outs there i think i've got three that needs attention there's the lamp board over there, the one that was in the machine. I'm pretty sure that needs attention as well. And there's the the CPU board, spare power. So I've got about 18 out boards there, but most of them work. So I want to have a few goes on this and make sure that it's uh, functioning again. It's always a dread. Oh yeah, and I discovered that the, the flow lights didn't come on so that the fuse had blown in the power supply. God knows why. So that leaves me wondering now, would that, would that power supply run the, run the lamps in that one? Because it's on a different plug, but... But I'm not... I'll put 50 goes on. Here we go. Bloody hell, it's doing my head in. I hate seeing too much lamp deflections in the glass. Although you need light, this is the trickiest part of doing any machine videos. I don't like using the phone light because it's always crap. Might have a little bit loud. I'll try backwards. This doesn't always happen, trust me, this does not always happen. I always dread with system out of using another machine as a test, sort of testing parts and all that. You sometimes you've got no choice. Literally got no choice when you've got an unknown machine. I'm actually oh, okay. I'm actually stood here quite amazed. I really am because I borrowed the in-out board out of this machine, 
there's complex sounds board, the CPU board, the main board, and the whole power supply out of this machine. I'm absolutely amazed. I think I need to change my mind a bit about <laughs> Yeah, I'm, abs I'm absolutely mad. Mind you, this hasn't paid out yet, but. but this prognosis is good, maybe. Just apart from being a bit loud. <laughs> I put what was that? Uh, Twenty four. It's just I put a pound in and got four p back. It's not a good return, is it? I don't care. I'm more. That is I'm amazed. A little bit little smug, a bit amazed, pleased. I mean it should be the norm that you know it should be the norm but with these you use a, a you use another system 80 machine to test at your peril because you can end up with two machines down instead of one. Any experienced collector will tell you. It's happened to all of us, even the ones who know the best. Sold, it would take a lot of money. It's lovely and punchy. They, these are the fastest system 80s I know. The uh, Lucky Lady and Fruit King, obviously BWB, they are really fast and punchy and quick. Really quick play. As the PCP versions like Master Spy and uh, Aladdin's Cave and that, they're a little bit more dopey and slow, but these are like straight in. They've got some speed. Anyway, I know this is not the, the greatest uh, play video, but I just wanted to show people because people are. People ask me all the time about repairs and anyway. Gonna swap that really, ain't ya? And hope for the third one. Two swaps left. Four feet. Anyway. 
anyway, tea time. I'll leave this on for a bit. Make sure it's alright. Oh! I'm going to stick with the middle for 12p if possible. Or not. Where's the other BWB? I'm looking for the BWB on the first wheel, really. All right. Anyway, there you go. That was just a. Oh, okay, here we go. Again. It's only just to show the system 80 parts working. But there you go, folks. So, oh, there's the. Uh, well, I'll be moved anyway in a bit, so. See you in a bit.